Okay, so this is my first video to explain what I'm going to do in the following month on this channel. The first thing is that I want to adapt the MMU2 multi-material upgrade from Prusa uh, in order for it to work on basically any printer and for it to be easily created by someone with a printer, a 3D printer, and for relatively cheap. So, um, if you don't know what the MMU2 or multi-material upgrade version 2 is, uh, it is basically uh, something that you can uh, print and create uh, in order for you to print with multiple filaments, so up to five filaments. So, uh, in order to uh, reduce the cost as much as possible, I'm not going to use the same electronics, even if I'm still going to keep their software. Uh, I'm not going to use the same board, probably I'm going to use an Arduino based board. Uh, and I'm also going to uh, use uh, different stepper motors. Okay, so now uh, what I'm going to show you is the first part that I'm going to work on, uh, which is the uh, idler assembly and the idler shaft. So uh, what I'm going to do is an isolate it and re-isolate it. Okay, now we have it clear right here. Um, so uh, this is the idler which can like select the different uh, filaments. So the first thing that I want to do is improve the way that they uh, place the bearings so that you, yeah like you place little middle uh, rods in here to hold the bearings in place. You can see it right there. Um, and I want to make it uh, easier and cheaper, so what I'm going to do is print the actual sh uh, shaft for each bearing and um, print up to there, stop the printer and place it and restart. So it will basically be part of the print. Um, and that will help uh, with the price. Uh, now the other thing that I want to do is change the bearing that we use. So right now we are using uh, 625 bearings on this design and this is on the official one as well. And what I want to do is use um, 608 bearings uh, which are 22, 22 millimeters by 7 by 8 millimeters. And um, this will help with cost because the uh, 608 bearings are more available and cheaper at least here in Canada and uh, I'm actually unable to find any 625 bearings at the time of making this video uh, because of the coronavirus crisis uh, literally the bearing sale individually for five dollars and cost uh, ten dollars in shipping and I'm going to resume them in months so I'm going to use what I have on hand and what can be delivered in a few days here in Canada which are the 608 bearings. Uh, they are slightly larger and they are more available because they are used by uh, skateboards and fidget spinners so uh, I guess uh, that's part of the reason why I was able to get my hands on them. Uh, so in order to replace it we are just going to um, modify both the uh, this part and this part in order to fit them properly and that uh, will be in my next video. So another thing that we were going to do is once again here we have the idler body you see is placed on the motor shaft here and on a small metal pin. I don't want to have to buy an extra metal rod when I have a 3D printer. So what I'm going to do is print uh, the axis on the uh, shaft and I'm going to make it the size of uh, the ball bearing diameter and I'm going to place a ball bearing right here so that we everything will be printed and nothing will need to be bought. So that will make it um, simpler and cheaper. Okay, so for the printer side of things, uh, we are probably going to use Marlin for the firmware uh, because it supports a lot of uh, ARM based boards and uh, because it is totally free and open source. So uh, Marlin is an open source firmware um, and it's actually used by most of the printers and if you already have a 3D printer it's probably running Marlin. 
So, um, for example, the Ultimakers in Marlin, uh, your CR10 probably also runs Marlin, um, Creality printers, Prusa printers, so a lot of FDM printers use Marlin or a version that they edited of Marlin. Um, so, uh, we will uh, edit the Marlin firmware so that it works with our uh, MME2 uh, custom upgrade and we will also uh, use a different board on the printer uh, which will probably be Arduino based and uh, we will also uh, try to find a cheap one but that still gives me enough uh, connectivity options uh, to connect the uh, multi-material upgrade so uh, the way these videos are going to be done is I'm going going to do a, a playlist with all the modifications I do to the physical part of the uh, the assembly and of the uh, multi-material upgrade so um, this will be a playlist and uh, we are also going to do a playlist on the software modifications and uh, basically it's going to be uh, long videos uh, detailing the process and uh, how I made it. And once the project is finished and I have everything working, I will probably do a few videos explaining how to set it up um, as fast as possible. So for someone that does not care about how I made everything and that just wants to uh, build it for himself, and I will just show the process really quickly so we won't go through how, how I designed it, what I modified.